Welcome to Hillman Talk University. My name is Misha Bazemore and I will be teaching you AI. So we're going to get started with ChatGPT and I'm just going to take you on a tour of ChatGPT. I want you to know that you can do what you see me do here doing with the free version and with a paid version. If you're brand new to ChatGPT, consider mastering the free before you subscribe to a full version of ChatGPT. Now, anytime you use a freemium version of any application that has a paid version, there will always be limitations, all right? When you find yourself outgrowing the limitations, then consider purchasing a subscription. What that will do is help you remember <laughs> when you master the free, it will help you remember that you actually have that subscription because there's nothing like having money come out of your account and you not knowing why. All right. So if you master the free, that means you're going to be using chat GPT a lot. And when you decide to upgrade, you'll know why, and you won't be surprised with the subscription. All right. So chat GPT 4.0, these are the different models that you can use. So chat GPT 4.0, we also have O1 and O1 Mini. If you have access to a paid subscription to ChatGPT, then you may have beta features available, all right? But we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna go ahead and use GPT 4.0, and I'm gonna give you a tool that can help you learn how to effectively converse with ChatGPT. I wanna shorten the learning curve. To gain access to a ChatGPT hack that can shorten the learning curve, I want you to go ahead and type bit.ly slash prompt pro. Please keep in mind that the link is case sensitive, so make sure you type prompt pro in all caps. Again, bit, B I T dot L Y slash prompt pro. After setting up your free or paid ChatGPT subscription, and after clicking the or typing the link bit.ly slash prompt pro, you will come over to a GPT, which is a custom ChatGPT conversation. What does that mean? It means you come over to ChatGPT, you don't know what to say, you push a button and it'll help you figure it out. All right. So we're not going to try to figure out how to effectively converse with ChatGPT. We're going to use this tool to teach us how to talk to ChatGPT. So to get started, you want to select the button that says ChatGPT, help me write a prompt. I don't know, I don't know what to type or say. Now you may be asking yourself what is a prompt? Think about it like this. You go through a fast food a fast food restaurant, a uh, drive-through, right? And the uh the the order taker says, "How may I help you?" Um, what would you like or whatever they say to you, that's a prompt to start a conversation. So you may hear me say prompt or conversation starter, right? So in order to be able to effectively converse with ChatGPT, you have to know what to say to it, just like a drive through attendee has to know what to say to you to get you to tell them your order. So what we're gonna do is select ChatGPT, help me write a prompt, I don't know what to say, right? That is the biggest pain point that many face. They don't know what to say to ChatGPT. So instead of trying to figure it out, you can go step by step and tell ChatGPT what it is that you want to do. So this GPT will ask you questions one at a time and give you three detailed examples for each question that, you, that it asks you. So that way you can understand and answer the question. So what do you want help with? I want help with problem solving. You can copy any of the examples that it gives or you can go ahead and type your own. So what do you want help with? I want help with building my credit. I want help with building a, a let's go ahead and do that. Let's go help, let's go ahead and say, I want help fixing my credit, right? So you can type anything in, just say what you want. You can also select from the examples. When you type in or select whatever you want, go ahead and select the up arrow. It will send the message through. ChatGPT is going to acknowledge your input and ask you the next question. Now, the reason why I have it asking only one question at a time, yes, I built this GPT, 
The reason why I have it asking you one question at a time is so that way each question that it asks will be built upon or based upon the previous question. So we told it that we want help with fixing our credit. It, it acknowledged our input. Now it's giving us examples on how it may be able to help. It can pro provide educational guidance, specific advice, or practical tips. Again, you can go ahead and select something from here, one of the examples, or you can type in whatever you want to type in. Again, select the up arrow to send the message through. ChatGPT will acknowledge your input and say, okay, got it. You want physical, you want practical tools to help you fix your credit. Let's craft a prompt that gives you exactly that. Here's a great starting point. Now, this prompt example, the reason why it is built like this is because I want you guys to learn how to um, uh, prompt ChatGPT to give it give you exactly what you want. So a prompt has to be structured in a way where you won't get garbage in or you won't put garbage in and get garbage back. So ChatGPT, help me create a personalized plan to improve my credit score. Include practical tools like budgeting tips, how to prioritize and pay off debts, and strategies to dispute errors on my credit report. Provide step-by-step -step guidance that's easy to follow. This is way better than coming over into ChatGPT and saying, help me fix my credit. You can also do this. You can say, great. And y'all excuse me while I type this in. Great job. But I need you to include an expert and a tone. All right. So we wanted to act as an expert and we wanted to give us a particular tone. Maybe we want the particular tone to be, uh, uh, we'll just, just see what it does. We're going to go ahead and send the request through and ChatGPT is going to acknowledge our input by rewriting the prompt, right? So now we have an even better prompt. Make sure your prompt says who ChatGPT is acting as. ChatGPT, please act act as a financial advisor with expertise in credit repair, right? So you always want it to take on a certain persona because if you want advice from a doctor, you wouldn't go to a lawyer, right? The language is very different. The understanding is very different. And that's why you want to assign ChatGPT a persona, right? It says use a supportive and empowering tone. This will... um uh make it provide information in a certain type of way with the tone, right? Now, use a supportive, empowering tone to help me create a personalized plan to improve my credit score, include practical tools like budgeting tips, how to prioritize and pay off debts and strategies to dispute errors on my credit report. Please pro or provide step-by-step -step guidance that's easy to follow. Now, you can take this entire prompt, do a new chat, with ChatGPT 4.0 and then paste this in. Now, ChatGPT will give you be better tailored information better than help me fix my credit. So you see this prompt? I'm going to go ahead and do this, start a new conversation, and just say, help me fix my credit. You don't want it to assume anything. Instead, you want to guide it with what you want and how you want it to respond, all right? So it doesn't even know. It, it just, all right? So again, <laughs> I want you guys to go ahead and visit bit.ly slash prompt pro to get started learning chat GPT in your human talk um, AI and creativity course. And let me know what you think in the um, comments below. Also, make sure you interact with this post, leave a comment, favorite it, share it, go ahead and uh, tap the heart button so other people can get this information as well. Knowing AI can help you stand out in such a chaotic time. Y'all be easy.